We have seen so many kings of the open source world where they tend to achieve some comparable result to ChatGPT or Llama 2. I know it gets tacky and it's quite annoying to see these new so-called kings that are barely even in the reaches of GPT 3.5. Today, I introduce OpenChat, an advancing open source language model with mixed quality data that is the first 7 billion parameter model that achieves comparable results to ChatGPT's March version. Now, I know this is not your regular open source king. This is something that is a small model that is actually able to hit on every benchmark comparable to GPT's 3.5 version. This model is completely on a new alignment technique and the great part is is that it's runnable on mostly any hardware with its tiny size. It's the first open source model to accomplish something like this which is why we're going to take a look at it. We're going to show you how you can download it as well as running some tests so you can get a better idea. So with that thought let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where I can offer my consulting services to you guys, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. Now, as we mentioned at the start, we're going to take a look at OpenChat. Now, it stands for Advancing Open Source Language Models with Mixed Quality Data. Now, this is something that is absolutely amazing as we've seen many things with Mistral, but in this case, it's able to achieve the best comparable results to ChatGPT's 3.5 model as of March. Now, this is not something that is comparable to today's version of ChatGPT. It's comparable to GPT's March version, which is something that you want to keep in mind. Now, we can see over here in terms of the comparison. This is just a 7 billion parameter model, which is able to outperform most 7 billion parameter models, which is absolutely insane. Now we can see there's many different benchmarks. If we go into this picture a little bit more in depth, we can see that there is benchmarks with MMLU, human evaluation, and many others, which are basically giving you a better idea as to how it is performing in different categories, whether it's science, theology, philosophy, and such forward. Well, we can see with the open chat red model, it's able to outperform on the human evaluation and it's basically comparable to ChatGPT in most cases. Obviously, in BBH caught, uh, ChatGPT is able to surpass the open chat model, but in most cases, it's able to stay on par, which is really, really good. And it shows that it's the first open source model that's able to stay on par with GPT's 3.5 model. This is quite big, guys, because this is an open source project that's able to do something like this. Now, to like personally for me, this is something that I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for the alignment tabs uh, team that's been working on this. So let's get to the next start step of the video where we take a little bit more in-depth analysis of this. We actually have a steady growing community on the Patreon private discord. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at this because there's so much value being dropped over here in terms of AI subscriptions being given to you, consulting, networking opportunities, and so much more. We're just evolving in the world of AI. So if you're interested in all that, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. Give World of AI on Twitter a follow. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos. So what is open chat? Well, OpenChat is a library of open source language models, and these models are basically trained using a unique method called CRLFT. Now, this is a strategy that's inspired by the offline reinforcement learning. But what's special is that these models are able to learn from a mix of different types of data. Even if some of the data doesn't actually come with clear preferences or labels, it is able to be done in a specific type of method because of this strategy. Now, the impressive part is, is that it can perform just as well as ChatGPT as we know. And one great thing is that if you go on the research paper, they have stated something really, really amazing. If you read through this, you can see that through extensive experiments on three standard benchmarks, our open chat 13 billion fine-tuned with CRLFT achieves the highest average performance among all 13 billion open source language models. Now, this is just through the CRLFT strategy. 
Now, we can see that with the 7 billion parameter model, it's able to stay on average or as on par with GPT's 3.5 model. And basically, this is just a project that has been able to outperform many other open source projects, but now it's starting to get to the point where it's able to stay on par with closed source projects. Now, the goal of this company or this organization that has been working on creating these models is to create high quality language models that are both powerful and open source. And this means that it will become something that is more accessible to a wide range of like users. And it's something that could be used for many different applications. Now, I'll leave all these links in the description below, especially the research paper, because it is really, really more in depth as they cover many different avenues as to how they were able to do this. Now, I want to mention the actual flow of this so we get a better understanding of what this RLFT method is. So how this functions is that it uses this conditioned RLFT method, and this is what we talked about, the CRLFT. Now, this is to basically improve open source language models that are fine tuned with mixed quality data. We can see that there is a data set that is basically forged with an LLM. This is basically a method of two other methods, and it uses the first one, which is, I believe, the SFT and as well as the reinforcement learning fine tuning method. Now, the MLE basically stands for the maximum likelihood estimate and the RL stands for the reinforcement learning. Now, in simple terms, what happens is that OpenChat's approach aims to basically make the language models better by using these different techniques that are compared to the supervised as well as the reinforcement learning methods. And we can see there is a good flow as to how this works. You have the class condition data sets that are combined with the coarse grained rewards, which are then mixed in with the language model. And you can see that there are different methods from the SFT method, which is the original standard method that we tend to use, as well as the RLFT method. In this case, we use the C RLFT method that open chat uses which combines these two and then it forges it with the language model which gives it such better like fine-tuning methods as well as better reinforcement learning methods now this is absolutely insane as this shows more in-depth analysis to the comparison we can see open chat is the first one over here with the 7 billion parameter model case size and we can see in comparison with many different benchmarks it surpasses each and every model whether it's a 70 billion parameter model or if it's a 13 billion parameter model it's able to outperform it on most open source models in most like benchmarks which is absolutely remarkable and obviously with the chat gpt one we already seen this but in terms of mistral which is the new 7 billion parameter model that was actually able to perform quite good in comparison to other open source models with its small model size and we can see that open chat surpasses even that now this is absolutely amazing because this was something that was released like fairly recently and we already have something new that surpassed it which is something that is quite mind-boggling because in this space everything just keeps evolving and you just gotta keep on staying on pace with it now let's get to the next step of the video where i showcase how you can actually use this there is a way in which you can install it locally there is a method for you to have a web UI, but in this case, if you do not want to do any of this, you can definitely just install it locally with LM Studio, which is something that I'll showcase. But another thing is that they have an openchat.team link for their chatbot UI where you can access it. It's fairly easy. It's hosted on the cloud and it looks similar to ChatGPT. Now I'm going to quickly just showcase how you can install it using LM Studio. But in this case, if you're going to be using this, stay tuned and I'll showcase some couple tests at the end of the video. Now, what I want you to do first, if you're going to be installing this locally, is go onto the Hugging Face model card for open chat. Now, copy the model card and what you want to do is open up LM Studio. Now, this is a way for you to download any open source language model quite easily. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at the link in the description below where I'll showcase a link that will help you download LM Studio. It's fairly easy to do so. But in this case, once you have copied the open chat model card, paste it onto the home page, click go. And you can see that there is many different models with different model sizes. Uh, we can see that there's some that have been fine tuned in a different method. We have a quantized method as well as one where it's 
configured with open coder which is another method for you to use uh, open chat for coding completion and such forward but in this case we're just going to go with the base open chat model from the bloke this is probably the best version out there you can obviously show all of the models uh in this case there's different versions so you got to make sure that you install the right one the one that i was showcasing in this video is 3.5 so what you want to do is click on the quantize version in this case you can't it's unsupported with the current format but you can just move forward with the gguf uh install it whatever model that you want with the actual size that you want to actually run it with once you have selected the model that you want you can simply just click download once you have clicked download uh, you can basically start installing it and it'll take a couple of minutes based off your download speed but you can then move over to the conversation tab where you can select the model that you want to load in this case you can select the open chat model once it has finished downloading over here you simply just click on it and you'll be able to start chatting with it locally on your desktop it's easy as that now we'll showcase how you can actually run it on the cloud we'll just go over briefly some of the cool things about it in this case i'm gonna ask it write me a story on gilgamesh quite detailed just simply as that uh, i might just say write also write in paragraph format and let's click enter for the people who do not know gilgamesh is one of the best known all ancient Meta mesopotamian uh, heroes and it's something that we can see it's being outputted fairly fast and it's able to do it pretty pretty good in terms of its context length now this is something that i was quite surprised with because i never actually played around with it before this video and we can see it just keeps going this is actually quite good uh it has a quite nice ui which is something that i really like now let's ask it something else uh now can you please summarize it in one paragraph and we can see over here uh, why am i saying please <laughs> it does a great job actually in doing a quite good summary let me just read it gilgamesh a mighty and wise king of uruk embarked on a quest to find the secret of eternal life after the death of his friend wow that's actually quite good and it does a good job in formatting this now let's ask it something quite relevant let me just see if i can ask it something as of march so in this case uh we can write something where it can test current events so let me ask when did elon musk hurt or yeah by twitter oh wow so it is up to date as well so this is a really good test this is just a brief little overview on some of the things that you can do. This is something that I want you guys to actually play around with. If you guys can like maybe at me on Twitter, some of the cool things that you were able to generate with this open chat model, definitely let me know. But in my opinion, so far from the usage I have done, it has been quite unique. It has been quite good in my opinion. And it's something that is uh, like something that I'll definitely be keeping in mind while I generate certain things with AI. But that basically concludes open chat, guys. This is a 7 billion parameter model, which is absolutely insane. Definitely keep that in mind when you're using it. It's something that is going to elevate many different things in the world of AI. So definitely keep this in mind. But that basically concludes today's video on open chat. I hope you enjoyed it. This is something that compares to ChatGPT uh i'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily definitely check out the consulting page if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me if you haven't followed the patreon page or if you want to join our private discord definitely take a look at this link in the description below follow world of ai on twitter and definitely check out our previous videos like subscribe turn notification bell and with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas